Now let's look at the concept of leap year. Now this is a earth which is in a blue color and the sun. Now this uh, earth is revolving around the sun continuously and uh, the, the time taken by it to revolve around the uh, uh, the sun is uh, considered to be one year, right? Now so how many uh, in one year uh, f for exact uh, one revolu revolution around the sun earth takes 36 uh, 365.242375 days these this is the exact number and uh, you typically know that we have 365 days right so now if you consider the difference now you are looking at around 0 0.242375 difference now this is a very huge amount so they came up with uh, some strategies uh, so that they can overcome uh, this difference now so where is the 0 0.2 uh, 2.242375 now what they did is what they introduced a new new rule saying that every fourth year uh, fourth year is a leap year okay so according to this rule if we calculate the average it will result to 36.25 days for one year now if you consider uh, this part now we uh, uh, now 36 uh, 365.25 is actually greater than 365.24 now i just uh, for the time sake just ignore this 2375 we'll we'll return to this later now you're looking at around 0 0.01 uh, extra days per year now if you consider this for 100 years that means that actually we are considering one day extra every 100 years so now it's like we are we mismatching it so they in uh, so they introduce another rule saying that every hundredth year is not a leap year okay so now what does this imply now if we take the average now it comes out to be 36 uh, 365.24 days now looking at the original figure which the, the accurate figure we have 365.242375 now we are looking at some difference of 0.002375 days now they felt that this was also not close enough so they introduced another rule now uh, that we'll discuss but uh, let's see the difference that is 0.95 days per 400 years so we are it's approximately we are losing one day every 400 years so they introduce a new rule saying that uh, every 400th year is a leap year okay so how close did we reach by doing that now we reached as close to as th th 365.2425 days per year now the accurate figure is uh, 365.242375 days per year now you can see that we are very close now these are the three rules which are standard which are given to us now i hope this is clear to you on how the uh, how uh, they came up with these things and i am uh, i'm assuming that you understood everything now so let's look at few examples now uh, so 60 uh, we know that every 400th year is a leap year so 1600 2000 and 2400 are leap years but whereas 1700 1800 1900 and so on are not leap years they are actually divisible by 4 but the rule stated that every 100th year is not a leap year so these are not leap years apart from this all the other years which are divisible by 4 are leap years like 2012, 2016, 2020 or etc. are leap years. So I hope you have understood the leap year concept very well. Uh, now we will be using this in our program. Now if you didn't understand anything you can comment in the section. I will be happy to help you out. Uh, 